Hello, welcome to uh, my video, DIY video. Uh, so I'm um, going to just talk us around the Adria LT DP Dart. Uh, it's a four berth caravan with island bed and mid cabin bathroom with a separate shower. And it has um, this model comes with the absolutely amazing panoramic um, sunroof at the front and. Um, yeah, you've got in the front here. You've got storage for your two gas canisters and um, all your self-containment tanks go in there. It's, there's loads of room, and then on the side, um, you've got access to uh, your, cup, your, your under storage, which is under the front cabin seats, and um, you've got a two two stage door, so a barn style door. So the um, the door can open into two um, separate sections, which I'll show you a bit later. Um, just, just taking you through that, so it's really easy to uh, unconnect that. And then you just fix that back. Really good for keeping the kids um, at bay, or the pets for, for uh, as well. And um, alloy wheels. Uh, you've got vents here at the top and bottom for the fridge. Um, awning light, all the glazing on it's double glazed, um, and they've got fly screens and um, and sun visors as well, um, blinds. That's the word I was looking for. Um, here's the shot of the back. Uh, we've got the uh, satellite reception dish up the top, which is uh, manually controllable from within the back of the bedroom. And as you can see, it's, it is a nice and um, stylish van. Um, alloy wheels, Elko frame, chassis frame. And yeah, it's got quite, it's got really nice um, contemporary European lining with it. It is a lightweight caravan by comparison to a lot of caravans out there. Um, so it's not too taxing on the drive line for the, for the tow vehicle. Um, that's where your, uh, that's where your cassette for the toilet goes and then in here is your flush and that's where you put your liquid in for your um, cistern for the toilet. A uh, flu, um, it's got a uh, Truma combi boiler uh, which does the water and the heating and then there's your battery compartment here and then you've got a Truma pump which goes into your your water or into your water container there. Um, you can get setups where you can directly put the um, the hose onto the pump, um, but that, that's that's not included with this uh, with this fan. And then you're yeah, just walking around uh, the front here, back to where we started. And um, yeah, just to point out, um, up here we've got it's already fitted with an antenna for those who uh, like the FM AM radio. And um, yeah, that's the sort of side. That's the offside of the caravan. And just to give you a, a view of the back. And uh, a view of the front. So going inside, basically what we have inside, um, you come straight into the into the dining uh, living room area. Here's your awning. Sorry, here's your panoramic skylight right at the front. Now you can adjust that. So at the moment I've got a solar shield and a, a net up. Um, that can actually be moved up. So you can move that up like that, really easy. And then you've got a full sun, full sun solar blind in place. Um, just turning on the, uh, the electrics here. Easily operated with this Truma control panel system. And that's your Bluetooth kicking in, that sound. And um, this is some of the lighting in here is pretty smart as well. We've got um, up lighting around the perimeter. And then under here, you've got little spots, little spotlights as well at the front. So um, if you're in this entertaining area, you can uh, you can read a book or um, put a bit of extra 
focused lighting on the um, on the dinner area if you need it. Now we've left the covers on the uh, settees, so you have to excuse us. That's just to keep them protected and new. We haven't used this uh, van yet. It is brand new, built two thousand and twenty-two in July, I believe. Took four almost four months to get to New Zealand, and um, yeah, look, it's a beautiful caravan. I, I think the the real sort of great bits about the van is um, the flexibility that it has in the layout. Um, so this area in front of me is is your dining seating area. Um, there's a table back here which um, can pull up, so that, that that can pull up, so you can have like a small toffee, coffee to like tea break uh, breakfast area there for two people, or there's a table which can go right in the middle here, which is stowed away in the bedroom, which I'll show you a little bit later. Um, in terms of sort of plugs, you've got two plugs in the back corner here. Um, and you've also got a connection for a uh, TV um, aerial at the front here. And yeah, this, I mean, up here we've got um, connection for a radio if you want one. There's the antenna connection there through, so it's all pre-wired for an antenna. Um, in terms of space above the kitchen area, you've got racking already in there. And um, every kitchen needs one is the microwave. So um, yeah, nice. Nice, nice little microwave there, and um, uh, above lighting here as well. So you, there's a little, there's a little light which does some down lighting on the uh, cooking area. Um, comes with a full manual. There's all, all the, all the information, um, certificates, the whole shebang is in there. Um, so that's all included. I've got absolutely every manual you could think of, and um, we've got a triple hob gas hob so it's a dometic gas hob that comes up um, operated by the dials over here and then what's really good about it is that you can put a um, it comes with this um, drain um, drain plate and and you can drain when you do your dishes you can put your plates on top of the drain plate and it all drains back down into the sink lovely nice stainless steel um, sink and, uh, and the benefits of the sink um, combined hob arrangement is that's really easy for cleaning down so really useful um, when you've got when you've got um, compact spaces to work with and um, the, it comes with a plate that goes over the sink so um, it extends your preparation area um, like I said all the blinds um, come with insect meshing there you can see that or you can also put up um, screen blinds like that so um, below the work kitchen workspace, we've got a gas fire, um, gas operated oven, and um, has a grill as well. You can see there. Um, again, you've got um, pull out drawers. I mean, this is really clever. You can see here how well put together the van is, and um, that's a view sort of of the front again, um, coming back behind me, so opposite the kitchen. We've got this lovely touring size, um, gosh, it's a Thetford fridge, and it has a freezer compartment in the in the top, which is a decent size. You certainly get um, at least a week's worth of food in there, and um, yeah, really, really good um, to have that additional size as well. Um, always tends to be something that um, caravan manufacturers overlook is um, the size of fridges, so you've got the best of all worlds here. So this is the bedroom. Um, just to pan back a bit and to give you a bit of an explanation. So what you've got here is you've got a mid cabin toilet on your left, which is this door here. And then on your right, you've got your shower. And it's a great shower. It has um, a hanging clothes rail. Um, it's got a vent high level, so really good for drying off the clothes. And then you've got, I mean, it is it is a good size, it is a good size shower. Um, and it's got a little seat there, so for good for if you've got kids, um, or even for uh, mum and dad, if they need to have a sit, um, you've, got that, you've got that space there, or a leg up rest. Um, and then your shower, your shower rose is there. And then you've got a mixer. Um, all them all there. Uh, it's a, it's a good it's a good space. Um, and what we really liked about it was it, it, it you have the flexibility here to close the bathroom door like this, and you can effectively close off this area, 
and that becomes a separate space. Or you can, and just to give you a bit of a flavor here. So the shower's pretty, 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 pretty good as well. There you go. It's giving you a decent, a decent um, spray. Typically takes the cylinder, so it's got an onboard cylinder. Um, typically takes around um, 20 minutes to warm up. And then um, this is your bedroom, double, lovely double bed. Um, this lifts up, one side of it lifts up, like that. And then you've got all this awesome storage space under here, which is just awesome, mate. Eh? Um, the new carpets are all packed up and um, zip bags there, never been, never been opened yet. And um, the other side also springs up so you can access the storage from either side in a similar um, access arrangement. And um, you've got lovely big um, viewing windows. Again, you've got, your, you've got your blind and then your fly screen as well. And the windows also open stages with curtains. And you do have, again in here, you do have the, um, uh, the, the, the lights as well, which I'll just turn on. There you go. So you've got all the down lighting. You can see the feature lighting there. And above the bed, you've got an openable vent, which obviously has... <laughs> Um, insect screen and um, um, can be shielded off, um, closed off. So, yeah, really good um, space. You've got the benefit around the bed as well as having um, clothes hanging spaces. So you can put your clothes, hang them up in there. Um, that's your adjustable satellite dish. So it's um, cranked down using this hand crank here. Um, and then below, you've also got some storage space and then the consumer unit at the low level. There. Um, on the sides, you've got these little cubby holes so you can put your, your drinks if you like a drink by your bed at night uh, or, or your watch, um, sort of little personal effects area. And then similarly on the other side, um, you've got lots of shelving. And then again, you've got enough um, clothing there to put some clothes and garments in. Um, your stowaway, your stowaway. Um, dining room table goes in here and then literally you unclip that and then you pull the table out and, and yep yeah, and um, stows it in there and then and this is the sort of just to to give you another flavor of um the space again is that you can close off this door um which is the door immediately off the bedroom so um if you're here with friends or you've got kids your family with um kids which which we are um you can mum and dad can close off that door and you can have the tv on and the kids can be at the front um there and they can be um yeah either sleeping or doing um having fun playing games or so on larking around if it's my kids um and um you have the best of both worlds and that you can close off this door here or if mum and dad so choose um, you can actually just close this door here so mum and dad get the benefit of um, of having access to the bathroom and the shower and then they've got the bedroom so in effect it becomes an ensuite configuration and um, vice versa you could close the, you can close this door off um, and then whoever's at the front whether it be um, friends or family who are sleeping at the front, um, they can use this front area. And uh, yeah, it's it's a great, it's a great, really versatile um, bathroom, uh, 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 flexible bathroom arrangement. And then the bathroom itself is in here. Um, so you've got a quite, quite a compact, um, quite a compact basin. Um, you've got some vanity space under here. Toilet um, here, so it's flushable. As I, as I mentioned, it is a flushable um, toilet, um, which is filled from the outside. And then you've got mirror space up here, which you can see. So these mirrors here all open up, and you've got a couple shelves in there for storage, which is which is good. Um, and then lighting, you've got lighting up there. And then similarly, the bathroom shower also has lighting above it as well. And you've got some um, some racks up here and somewhere to hang your towels and a, and a toilet roll holder there as well so you've, you've got everything um and then that door as i said if you wanted to go for the ensuite arrangement you can have the bathroom door in the closed position and um 
and then the kids can be at the front or, the, or whoever's cohabiting in the front of the caravan can have their own space as well. Um, ignore that towel that's just there to protect the floor and um, I think I've covered everything. So if you've got any questions, um, please give me a call. Uh, my, 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 my details are on the advert and um, yeah, look, um, we'd, it'd be great to hear from you if you've got any questions, shout uh, or I'm very happy to help um, in, in whatever way I can. All right.